getting fired is never a good thing. You're losing your livelihood and that's not good, especially not these days. For celebrities, getting fired from the job can be even more detrimental because it not only affects your life in that moment, but it can also affect your public image, making it harder to find another job. I've got a list of celebrities to talk about who've lost their job, so let's get into the top 10 celebrities who are fired from talk shows. At number 10, Piers Morgan. I know that we as humans are bound to mess up sometimes, but there's no excuse for being overly critical and mean to another person, because clearly it can have its consequences, like how Piers Morgan lost his job due to the rude comments that he made on TV. Piers had a lot to say after Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah. Like many others, Piers was surprised at what was said during the interview, but he took some of the information shared in the interview and used it as hateful fuel that inevitably came back to bite him. During the interview, Meghan Markle opened up about her mental health and how it was affected being part of the royal family, saying that there was once a point after marrying into the family that she wanted to take her own life. Piers spoke about this on air of Good Morning Britain and he said that he quote, didn't believe a word that she said. After Piers made those and a handful of other harsh comments, he started to face massive backlash from all sides as people said that his comments on Meghan's mental health were diminishing and disrespectful. The studio he worked for as well as Piers himself started receiving harsh comments and so Piers actually left his position at Good Morning Britain. He was in a way fired from his job, but he decided to pull the plug himself I guess to make him seem like the bigger person. He has since refused to apologize and since nobody wants to work with him after all this drama, it could be that his career is finished now. At number 9, Megyn Kelly. Journalist Megyn Kelly once had her own show called Megyn Kelly Today, but after facing a scandal, her show was cancelled by the network effectively firing her from her job. This scandal all started when Megyn defended wearing blackface at Halloween on her morning show where she said quote, When I was a kid, that was okay just as long as you were dressing as a character. Even though she tried to apologize for her remarks, the network just didn't want to take any more risks with Megyn over fears that this would reflect badly on the company, so Megyn was fired and her show was cancelled. Now before I carry on with the list, I'd like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a big ol' like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because your support really does help the channel out and we appreciate your feedback. At number 8, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons is certainly someone with little or no filter when it comes to his words and actions. He's an outlandish guy with a lot of energy and so sometimes when he gets passionate or heated, then he can go off the rails a bit and that can come back to bite him as it resulted in him losing his job with Fox. At one point, the singer was a Fox favorite, making regular appearances on their programming where they would discuss hot topics in the world and would share their opinions on things. They seemed to really like him and enjoyed having him on their talk show, but after causing a stir at a meeting with Fox and making some crude comments towards some of the other staff members, Gene was banned for life and was fired from their show. Some of the things that Gene said to some women at the network got leaked and it made the studio look bad, so they just had to let him go. In this day and age, making comments like that is sure to get you in some serious trouble, and for a celebrity, that can never be good because that can cost you your entire career, so Fox just had to save their own butts and had to get rid of the problem at hand. At number 7, Adrian Brody. Adrian Brody is a super successful actor, but after a scandal while hosting Saturday Night Live in 2003, his potential hosting career began and ended all in one night. When Adrian was hired to host SNL one evening, one of the tasks he was given that night was introducing the musical guest for the evening. Seems like a pretty simple enough task, but he still managed to mess it up. On the night that Adrian was hosting, the musical guest turned out to be Sean Paul, and Adrian saw this as the perfect opportunity to introduce Sean in an interesting way to say the least. When it came down to announcing Sean's performance, Adrian came out dressed in fake dreadlocks and sporting a Jamaican accent. His bit was called out and was seen as offensive and uncalled for as he went completely off script to do this bit, but no one found it funny in the slightest. Man, Jamaica, man, you know, you know, rush stuff out you know, you got the whole family in the house, you know. You know, me got, me got Sean Peter, you know, you got Sean Paul, you got Sean Mary. Because this was such an epic and controversial fail, the actor was subsequently fired and banned from coming back on the show. He faced a lot of backlash that hurt his image for a while, but clearly he's bounced back since then. At number 6, Jenny Slate. The first day at a new job is always a very stressful one. There's a lot of pressure to do well and start to fit into your new work environment, so usually employers forgive any kind of minor mistakes, but for comedian Jenny Slake, the mistake that she made on her first day was a bit of a doozy and she ended up getting fired for it. Back in 2009, during her first performance as a cast member on the show, Jenny got the chance to perform one of the sketches that she wrote. She knew the bit like the back of her hand, or at least she thought she did because when she went to go say one of her lines, she accidentally switched up one of the words and dropped an accidental F bomb in its place. We all know that on network television, especially on talk shows like this, having adult language is a serious no-no, and when Jenny messed up, it just was not good for her at all. After that night, Jenny just struggled to fit the show's vibe, at least that's what she went on to say. The F-bomb combined with her other behind the scenes stuff caused her to get fired from one of the most famous shows on TV, and that definitely held her back in the comedy world for a little while, but clearly not forever. 
At number 5, Alec Baldwin. Back in 2013, Alec Baldwin became the host of a late night talk show called Up Late with Alec Baldwin on MSNBC. But his career as a talk show host was very short lived as the show was promptly cancelled after just 5 episodes because Alex landed himself in a scandal that got him fired from the network. Alec had been exposed for getting into a heated brawl with paparazzi where he went on a bit of a homophobic rant which as you can imagine made Alec as well as the network look bad. Luckily for him, the only thing that really took a beating was his late night career since his acting career remained relatively steady after this scandal. He got lucky that he only got fired from one job and not all of them. At number 4, Leah Remini. Actress Leah Remini, known for her work on sitcoms like The King of Queens and Kevin Can Wait, was also a host on the talk show The Talk, but that career was pretty short lived because she just didn't mesh well with her fellow co hosts. In an interview with Howard Stern, Leah talked about how she was fired from the show because, quote, she refused to keep her mouth shut. Leah said that she was just doing what she thought was right for her on the show, but the producer thought differently and this led to her losing her job. Her career still remained intact after being let go from the show though, so things certainly could have been worse for the actress. We just know that she might not be invited to be a talk show host again anytime soon. At number 3, Charles Rocket. Between 1980 and 1981, SNL seemed to be on its way out, despite having been one of the biggest shows on TV. This all came after there were changes in staff and this caused some drama because much of the cast weren't happy with the new changes being put in place. Because of this seemingly controversial change, much of the original cast of the show left, leading the new producer to have to rehire a brand new cast. This was great for new up and coming comedians because it gave new people new opportunities, but it also made others lose everything they worked for. Comedian Charles Rocket was one cast member who had their career destroyed on the show after he dropped an F-bomb during a skit. The comedian was closing out the show when he spoke some adult language and since this is a huge no-no, he got reprimanded for it and it caused him as well as a handful of others to get fired from the show. So he not only got himself fired, but many other cast and crew members as well, greatly affecting a lot of careers. At number 2, Ellen. Now I know you guys are going to head into the comments right now and say well Ellen didn't get fired, and I know that. But she did kind of fire herself when she announced that she would be ending her show. She's laying herself off because she's taking away her own job. Last year in 2020, we watched the comedian and talk show host fall rapidly from grace as allegation after allegation came out, painting her as a nightmare to work with among other things. She faced so much backlash for months for things like the treatment of her staff, her comments about lockdown, and the Black Lives Matter movement. Because of the events of last year, she lost a lot of credibility and respect in the industry, and her show lost a lot of ratings and advertisers as well, leading to her making the decision to end her talk show after so many years. So yeah, no one officially fired her, but she kind of just fired herself. And finally, at number 1, Sharon Osbourne. Talk show host Sharon Osbourne faced a lot of backlash a few months ago after making comments about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Sharon and her former co-host Cheryl Underwood got into a heated argument surrounding Pierce Morgan's remarks about Meghan Markle. During this feud, Sharon backed up some of Pierce's comments about Meghan's mental health and this really frustrated a lot of people because many felt as though what was being said was going a little too far. As a result of the remarks that Sharon made, she was called a racist and a number of other accusations came out about how she's used various slurs in the past when talking about her other co-hosts on the show. As a result of this, the network she worked for launched an internal investigation to look into the allegations against Sharon, and it all ended with Sharon being let go from the show. Now I want to know if you guys have ever been fired from a job. If you have, what was the reason and how did you feel about it? Tell me about all of your stories down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host Free Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy friends. Bye!